Now, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to express a polynomial in one variable of nth degree. So, if we are talking about a polynomial in nth degree and we have to express it, then first, let's have a quick look what we discussed so far. Like, in linear polynomial in one variable, linear polynomial Our linear polynomial is expressed as ax plus b, right? ax plus b. Now, if you look at quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial in one variable, then this is expressed as ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? The cubic polynomial in one variable is expressed as ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, right? It is expressed in this form. Now, if you have to talk about a polynomial whose degree is 4, that is biquadratic polynomial, degree four. So a polynomial in one variable whose degree is four can be expressed as ax raised to the power of four plus bx raised to the power of three plus cx raised to the power of two plus dx raised to the power of one plus e. In the same way, if your degree is 5, then you can express it as a x raised to the power of 5 plus b x raised to the power of 4, then c x raised to the power of 3 plus d x raised to the power of 2 plus e x plus f. Okay, let's take this one, like you can see a trend here. Right, let's take this one and let's say we write it like this. This is ax raised to the power of 5. Let's say this is a5x raised to the power of 5. Okay, this is bx raised to the power of 4. Let's write it as a4x raised to the power of 4. Okay, this is cx raised to the power of 3. Let's write it a3x raised to the power of 3. Then in the same way, a2 x raised to the power of 2 plus a1 x raised to the power of 1 plus a0. Why 0? Because we know that in the constant terms, this is actually x raised to the power of 0, 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 and x raised to the power of 0. x raised to the power of 0 means 1. Right? So we can write it as x raised to the power of 0, no issues with that. Okay, nothing has changed. A, B, C, D, E, F are constants. A5, A4, A3, A2, A1, A0 are also constants. This is not fixed thing, right? You can write it here P, Q, R, S, T, U, whatever you want. It's a general way to express a polynomial. Right? You can take any constant. The point is that these uh, coefficients are actually constants. Okay, so if you express it like this one, so clearly from here, you can see that we are actually talking about the degree uh, of a polynomial in one variable whose degree is 5. Now, if you look at this polynomial properly, then you can find it. This is actually a5 x raised to the power of 5, this is plus, if you look at this one, this is a 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 is what, 4, then x 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1 is what, 4, plus, now this one, this is a 5 minus 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, x 5 minus 2 is 3, plus this one, this is a 5 minus 3, and x raised to the power of 5 minus 3. Any problem? 
right? Then you have plus a five minus four, and this is x five minus four. In the same way, this is a. Let's write it a zero only, right? Let's write it a zero only. So if you pay attention to this one, and if you want to express now a polynomial in one variable whose degree is n, then by taking help of this one, we can write it as degree n. We are talking about degree n. Here it was degree 5. So a n x raised to power of n plus a n minus 1 x raised to power of n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x raised to power of n minus 2 right plus a n minus 3 x raised to power of n minus 3 plus plus now we can simply write this one as we don't need here because this is a1 x let's keep this a1 x only because finally we need a1 x so this is a1 x and plus a0 x raised to the power of 0 if you want x raised to the power of 0 so finally here it comes a1 x plus a0 x raised to the power of 0 if you want that Otherwise, you can ignore this x raised to the power of 0. No issue with this, right? Because finally, in this case, when it starts from a5, finally, it will come to x, that is a1x and a0x uh, raised to the power of 0. So the thing is that 5, 5 minus 1, 5 minus 2, 5 minus 3, we don't need to write 5 minus 4 because this is a1 only. So to represent it in a better way, we just ignore this one. We don't write it as 5 minus 4 because this will give us 1. So if you go on decreasing n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, then n minus 4, n minus 5, then finally we'll get a1x and a0. This is an expression of a polynomial in one variable whose degree is n. Now if someone says that if degree is 9, can you write, uh, find the polynomial in one variable? Yes, that's very simple. Keep, it, keep here 9 and let's go on decreasing it. Uh, like a9 then x raised to the power of 9 if you know the value of a you can calculate it so a9 x raised to the power of 9 then a9 minus 1 x raised to the power of n minus 9 minus 1 that is a8 x raised to the power of 8 then a7 x raised to the power of 7 then a6 x raised to the power of 6 and so on and so forth right so this is expression of a polynomial in one variable whose degree is n.